All right, welcome back, everybody. Next episode of Assassin's Creed Syndicate. We are going to do the next uh, mission for Jacob for the syrup. You are truly the most insufferable fellow I have ever had the misfortune to count among my acquaintances. Mr. Damn, Jacob's he's going right. in. Foul weather wouldn't know where to have you. That's Foul crazy. Bah. I have always been convinced that existing influences were responsible for the ordained birth of species. Let me remind you, sir, that you have accused me of abusing science, yet you are making my very ears bleed. You wound me, sir. You Will you, me. Mr. Owen, for once in your miserable life, tell the truth and admit your guilt in this matter? I was talking to you. Love eavesdropping. Okay, that was it then. We go to the asylum this episode, I believe. This, that's I what they're making it sound like. I had anyway. nothing to do with that anonymous article. Nothing, I said. That is a lie, sir. And you know it. Oh, I don't have time for this nonsense. Nonsense? It is my name and reputation you have willfully besmirched, sir. My very name. Bah! <laughs> drive, damn you, drive. <laughs> that is Richard Owen. A vile, despicable wretch of a man. Really? I could have sworn you were close friends. <laughs> Mr. Owen works at the asylum. He will know who made the syrup. Get him! Get him! Faster, you nitwit! Faster! Now is a good time to Okay. Probably don't kill him. What are you doing? What the fuck, man? Why did it go over? What? Oh my god. What are you. Just pull a fucking U turn in a car chase? What's wrong with you? We're stopped. Dr. John Elliotson, he formulated the elixir. He's the man you want, not me. I beg you, good sir, stop this madness. Now, was that so hard? Yes. <laughs> yes. Cool. I got the reinforced gauntlet. So maybe that was not the last. Oh. This is it. Okay, cool. Oh, cool. If you're in a cart and you select something, it, like, gives you the route. Neat. Uh, let's just fast travel and call it a day. We'll get there. Do the mission.
Let's do this. Actually, do I have any skills I can get? I do not. Gang upgrades. We unlocked an ale heist. Interesting. Another chance for monies. Oh, base. Okay, I see. Okay, I think I think we're good there. Let us continue and do les méchants. Mr. Fry, you just I trust let's that it you go. <laughs> had a productive meeting with Mr. Owen. Oh yes, we had the most wonderful chat. I found out the man behind Starrick's soothing syrup is John Elliotson. Doctor Elliotson, I haven't heard that name in a long while. He was a brilliant heart specialist until he became obsessed with phrenology and mesmerism. It ruined his career. Well, how shall we proceed? Oh, with all respect, Mr. Darwin, I believe I should proceed alone. After all, we wouldn't want to attract any unwanted attention. Sounds very wise. Good luck, my boy. <laughs> oh, and uh, Mr. Fry, should you find yourself with any free time, please do call on me. <laughs> He's like, my work here is done. All right. Um, wait, I'm confused. Oh, it's inside. Okay, so we just need to figure out how to get in. Good to see you guys too. I guess we're going all the way up. Okay. See, we went in here last time and it didn't let us go all the way down I'm assuming it's different yeah this guy's open now actually maybe that was there and I just didn't realize it before it's definitely a possibility oh god I want to kill people Hello. Actually, I don't think I really need to, to go down there. Oh, maybe I do. Now this looks promising. Where would I find the doctor? Okay. We got there. It's not what I expected. What is happening? What is he doing to him? What the fuck? Well, as you've just witnessed, the application of too much pressure can sometimes result in unexpected outcomes. Unfortunately, it appears I've ruined the organ. Shocker. Send up a cadaver. At once, Dr. Linson. Unique kill opportunity. Let's give that one a shot, shall we? Oh my god, they do like about your shock ethics, therapy. And I care even less about your damn patients. Now hand over your keys. What are you doing? Haven't you heard? You're fired. Now bugger off. <laughs> it's just a bloody handprint on the window. Fantastic. These guys are crazy. 
Uh, there's a unique kill opportunity, and I want to do it. How what is do it? Wild. Do not fire a single bullet. Halt the electric. Okay. Sure. So this is the young doctor. Take the place of the cadaver to reach the medical theater? Oh, that's awesome. So that means I need to go below. Oh, these are the guys I had to like, hold. That guy's safe. Now I have to go down here. I'm so confused on this guy's pathing. I see me. Of course not, Dr. Elliotson. It will only take a moment. Okay. Sneaky, sneaky. camera angle. Here it is, Doctor. We will continue our experiment shortly. In the moment, we will compare the brains of our two specimens. Since both specimens had a propensity towards violent behavior, we should see similar protrusions in specific parts of their brains. True. Dead. <laughs> violent behavior, sir. Spectacular. Probably have to run out of here now. At last it ends. Yet I can only think of beginnings. A better tomorrow, forged with the blood of visionaries. <laughs> <laughs> 
All I see is the blood of a lunatic. <laughs> Do you truly believe murdering an old man will stop humanity's great architect? Crawford Starrick has a glorious design for mankind. Designs are meant to be broken. Oh, you're a child. A child who believes it can solve all the world's woes with a flick of a blade. Have you ever pondered the consequences of your actions, Jacob Fry? Or did your father teach you nothing? That guy didn't have a master key. Oh, I needed to get that from the uh, from the nurse. Been to the morgue yet? This guy also deserves to die here. You were looking at me, sir? Yeah, no, I don't think so. what that one's called. That's actually pretty great. Alright. Pick the lock and then we're out of here. Hey guys. Don't shoot. Get out to the street and we are home free. Beautiful. and expired, and soothing syrup production has ceased. Outrageous! Fry intends to endanger all of London at the hands of the mob. Or perhaps he doesn't intend much of anything at all. Thank He's you simply content to dice with our lives. The asylum is shut up. Medical care throughout the city is in disarray. He does not, cannot understand the consequences of his actions. The man is clearly an anarchist. Gentlemen. This tea was brought to me from India by a ship and up from the harbor to a factory where it was packaged and ferried by carriage to my door, unpacked in the larder and brought upstairs to me. All by men and women who work for me, who are indebted to me, Crawford Starrick, for their jobs, their time, the very lives they lead. They will work in my factories, and so too shall their children. And you come to me with talk of this Jacob Fry. This insignificant blemish who calls himself assassin. You disrespect the very city that works day and night so that we may drink this. This miracle, this tea. I'm nearing the end of my research. 
Our beloved London shall not suffer such a bothersome fool for much longer. And what of this sister I've heard of? Miss Fry. Miss Fry shall be gutted. Soon enough. Delicious. Delicious. Sorry to interrupt in the ship. Thought you'd like to know that Sean and Rebecca got away from Otso Berg. Berg runs a unit called Sigma Team. Violet DaCosta is his tech support. They've been hunting and killing assassins for a long time. Thank God you're all right. Oh, tish tosh. It'll take more than a Templar super soldier to end the glorious saga of Sean Danger Hastings. I was talking to Rebecca. Right. Anyway, Berg's presence confirms it. The Peace of Eden is in London. The Initiate's data sync suggests it's the Shroud. The Templars seem to want it pretty bad all of a sudden. They must know something we don't. The only thing we know is that we can't go up against Sigma Team alone. Leave that to me. In the meantime, keep a low profile. Let the Initiate continue to sync the data. A letter for me where is this letter coming oh shit we now have sequence five the perils of business john elliotson is dead and starek's soothing syrup has been eradicated having shut down one branch of starek's enterprise jacob looks to loosen the master templar's hold on london's transportation uh meanwhile the race for the shroud of eden continues and evie hopes to gain the upper hand over her enemy lucy thorne Owning the railway wasn't enough. Now Starek has bought an omnibus company as well. I suppose he wants to control the neighborhood's workers and keep them under his thumb. Pearl Attaway is Starek's competitor, is she? Perhaps it's time I went into business. And Miss Fry, what are your plans? I studied the history we recovered from the Kenway Mansion's hidden room. I'm off to a certain monument. A letter for me? <laughs> that line is starting to piss me off a little bit. Oh my god, so there's more. Um, there's this guy too, so breaking news. Okay, and then there's this guy. Another, uh, wow, another Karl Marx memory. So, okay. Grab the outcome. Where's this, where's this letter? Where's this letter, brother? Driving me insane. Wait. Nice tray. I love what you've done with it. Damn it. Just souvenirs everywhere. Fuck. Okay, so I think. There's another one down here. The lady with the lamp. So I think next episode we're going to go and we're going to start knocking out some of these uh, memories that are still in the place, in the like territories that we have conquered already. And then once those are finally all done, then we will go through and we'll start knocking out all the territories in the city of London and get this one liberated and then go from there. But... I think that might conclude this episode. So, I think I'm going to fast travel up here and we'll make our way over to Karl Marx and then start their next episode. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. I hope you have a good rest of your day, night, whatever it is. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.